got to take notice of some things. One of the largest things I noticed is, is those plants that are being grown at LSU, well, they have to have some kind of something going on with them to be stunted the way that they were. I'm, I'm not downing the company at all. I'm critiquing the plant, understand. <clears throat> I don't know what the product is like. They still haven't given any of us patients the wonderful product, mainly due to yield production. So, I was wondering if they're using any pesticides or any chemical agents. So, I think today I'm going to actually write my senators and congressmen and representatives in lieu of that, because this is a valid concern as a patient here in the state of Louisiana, and considering that it's only one facility or one company throughout a uh, educational agricultural department facilitation of grow, we have a right to know what they are treating and, you know, supplementing and conditioning these plants with because these plants are what's going to be going into our bodies. It's just a fact. And because there's a 40-page list of approved pesticides alone, we haven't even gotten into the actual, um, you know, what's okay to use to boost the plant with. We're just talking about pesticides, you know, anti-little insecticides and stuff. So, we're going to take a look into some of this, and if they're using any of these agents in any way, uh, that's improper, That's and it's considered, well, you're putting patients at risk if you, if, you, if you do that. So we need to make sure that all this is being done right. And we don't have anybody monitoring them except for them themselves. And I don't, I don't approve of that as a patient. You know, this is why we should have an enforcement division over this, you know, here in the state of Louisiana, because that's what they're supposed to be, you know, that's what, they, that's what they're there for. And it, and it makes no sense. None of this, make, this entire system makes any sense. Till later.